Hello class and welcome to Mrs. Cadis's extremely low budget math videos once again. We're looking today at equivalent fractions. Equivalent, we've talked a lot in class that the word equivalent has the word equal as its root word. So we're looking for fractions that are equal to one another. And on this worksheet they've given us an example. We'll go through that and then we'll also go through the second um, problem over here. So here we have a square broken up into eight equal pieces. So if I count these pieces around, there are eight equal pieces that my one whole square is broken into. That's why there's an eight on my denominator. Two of those parts are shaded, and that's why we have a two sitting there in the numerator. The second fraction is again one whole square, but this square is broken into four parts. And so that's why there's a 4 down in that denominator. One part is shaded, and so that's why we have a 1 here in our numerator. So 2 eighths is equivalent or equal to 1 fourth. Let's try another one. Here we have a shape that is broken into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 parts. 6 is down there in the denominator. 4 of them are shaded, and so we put here 4 in the numerator. Now to shade an equal number of parts, I would go around here and I would shade this many. If you look closely, you can see that each of these single parts here has been broken into two over here on this second shape. So if I were looking at this shape, I first want to count how many parts there are total that it has been equally divided into. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 total parts. Then I want to count how many shaded parts there are. Same amount is shaded as in this first shape. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 shaded parts. So it's the same figure divided up into different numbers of equal parts, but when we shade the same amount of the figures, we get equivalent fractions. So 4 6 is equivalent or equal to 8 twelfths. I hope this helps you out tonight. Have a great night.